Christy from Tandem, and I'm gonna walk you through how to use the True Steel Infusion Set. I'll show you how to insert it, disconnect it, and share some helpful tips along the way. Let's get started. Before we dive in, here's an important safety tip. Never change your infusion set right before bed. Give yourself at least a couple of hours to monitor your glucose levels and make sure everything is working properly. True Steel works for all body types, but it can be especially helpful if you've had issues with kinked cannulas or diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA. However, since this set uses a fine 90 degree steel needle instead of a soft cannula, there's no risk of kinking. It's also a great option if you have challenges with hand strength or movement, or if you're sensitive to Teflon, which is used in our soft cannulas. The insertion process is quick and easy, similar to giving an insulin injection. You'll also notice that True Steel has a second anchor patch, giving you extra security and stability. Before you get started, make sure you have all your supplies ready. You'll need your insulin pump with a filled cartridge already installed, a True Steel infusion set, and any additional supplies. First, wash your hands and clean your insertion site. Let it air dry. The True Steel infusion set can be worn on different areas of your body. Choose a site free of hairs, scars, stretch marks, loose skin, and tattoos. These are not recommended areas as the infusion set may not adhere properly and may result in poor insulin absorption. Now, before you open the package, do a quick check. If the packaging looks damaged or has already been opened, grab a new one. Next, prepare the infusion set. Take out the two pieces of tubing and uncoil them. Remove the circular protective cap at the end of the long tubing by squeezing the ridges and pulling it off. Now, connect the two tubing pieces together so you have one continuous line. If they're not clicking into place, flip one end over and try again. Attach the tubing to the cartridge connector and twist clockwise until it's tight. A small space is normal. Carefully remove the adhesive paper. Now you're ready to fill the tubing with insulin. First, hold the pump with the cartridge connector or pigtail pointing up to push out the air bubbles. Next, point the infusion set needle downward to prevent insulin from falling onto the adhesive. Then check for air gaps in the tubing. If you see air gaps, continue filling until they are no longer visible. Finally, ensure you see drops of insulin at the end of the connector needle before proceeding. Now, let's go step by step through the insertion process. Start by gently twisting and pulling off the needle guard. Hold the tubing near the infusion set and insert the true steel needle straight into your skin. Depending on your body type, you might find it helpful to pinch your skin before inserting. Once the needle is in, press down on the adhesive tape to secure it in place. Then, remove the paper backing from the anchor patch and press it onto your skin. Choose a location that makes it easy to disconnect when needed and make sure the tubing between the infusion set and the anchor patch isn't too tight. Since True Steel uses a steel needle, you can skip the fill cannula step on your pump or app. Just set a reminder to change your infusion set every two days. And one last step, don't forget to resume insulin delivery to complete the process. Keep a close eye on your glucose during the two hours after insertion. If your glucose is unexpectedly high, your site may not be absorbing insulin properly. When in doubt, change it out. Persistently elevated glucose is a sign that you are not getting enough insulin and therefore increases your risk for DKA. Now that you've learned how to insert your True Steel infusion set, let's talk about how easy it is to temporarily disconnect. To disconnect, place a finger to hold the infusion set stable. Gently squeeze the ridges on the area closest to the tubing while pulling straight out. Remember, never disconnect from the cartridge connector as this can introduce air into the tubing. Reconnecting is a snap. Insert the connector needle back into the anchor patch and you should hear a click. That's it. Now you're ready to use your True Steel infusion set. For more helpful resources, visit the pump training section of our website. Thanks for watching.